Hello and a warm welcome to another edition of To The Point. The political chessboard in the Himalayan state of Uttarakhand is laid out where it's a tight contest between BJP and Congress. But the million dollar question is, can Chief Minister Harish Rawat make a comeback and write history again? I welcome Mr. Harish Rawat onto the program. So welcome. Uh, let me begin by asking you a question on a very light tone and that is that people say that you are visiting uh, the astrologers very often now these days. How far is that true? Not sure. In, in fact, uh, Bijan Daruwala ji was here okay. last time. It was a function organized by Amar Ujala. I was also invited. Okay. And he predicted that I am going to be the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand in, uh, in, uh, in 2017 onwards also. But, uh, so do you think that you need more than luck this time to win elections? In fact, uh, I always believe on hard work. And sometimes it is luck also. If it favors you, then it's all right for you. Otherwise, you have to wait for the next chance when, <laughs> when both there is a combination of the hard work and the luck both. Yeah. And without uh, uh, hard work, I don't think any can, anyone can make uh, in the politics. Absolutely. Uh, so looking at the way uh, the, the pattern of voting, the, the pattern of voting of a Pahari voter has been seen, uh, we have seen that they have always chosen, every five years they have chosen an alternate government. So if you go by that logic, uh, is it not BJP's uh, turn to form the government this year? Uh, for since 2002, it is happening. But this time, I'm determined to break this. You're going to write history, which means? <laughs> uh, this time, I will, I'm confident that we'll win and we'll form the government. But sir, if I were to ask you, and if uh, the audience also would uh, want to know, what are the two good reasons why the people in Uttarakhand will vote for Congress this time? I think this time people will vote for fish also. Okay. Uh, for the first time, the focus is on who is going to be the chief minister. Okay. BJP is confused. Congress is clear. And secondly, there is a lot of attack on me from BJP side and other side. So naturally that, that uh, creates interest in the mind of the people. If what is there? Why, why everybody is after him? Why a lot of uh, powerful people, uh, they are doing so much uh, uh, against this government. Earlier they tried to topple, topple down my government by engineering defection. Then President rule was imposed on a very, very trivial matter. There was nothing Absolutely. in that. But President rule was imposed. And when they when the Supreme Court asked for a floor test, I succeeded in the floor test. Then they scuttled my budget, which was passed by the Assembly. We have to create a new history in the parliamentary oh, that in a one financial year, the Assembly has to pass the budget twice. But uh, Mr. Rama, huh? now so all, all, the, all those things have, I, I'm hopeful that all these things will help me, help the Congress, will but, help the uh, Congress. Now when you look back, uh, the constitutional crisis you were talking about, what happened last year, you had to fight a legal battle, then a political battle, and now when you look back in the hindsight, do you really think that the way you came out as a winner, that really has helped you politically at least for 2017 elections? Maybe yeah. it could, you could call it a, God's, uh, a godsend <laughs> gift for you? Let's see what happens in the election. But uh, right now, I have the sympathy of the people because they feel that it was unnecessary effort being 
made by the BJP to topple down a government when election was so near. Right. Then when President Roosevelt was imposed, the Supreme Court came out with a uh, verdict that uh, it is a constitutional sin. Uh, after all, the, the, uh, the ruling party is the BJP. They have, they, it was their government which imposed the president rule. Right. So actually it has an impact on the mind of the people. Then the, there are other things also uh, which goes in my favor, in my favor. But when we hear your uh, speeches in the rallies, you have been harping on one sentence which I have very often heard and that is that ek kamzor mukhya mantri ko sare balwan milkar harane mein lage hain. Is your projection as a weak leader? I am a chief minister of a small state. I am a small man only with 35 or 36 inches of the chest. <laughs> and there is a mighty uh, prime minister. You're talking about with, the might of with, the 56 with, inches. Uh, uh, with 56 inches of the uh, chest. And then whether there is a heart or not, I don't know. <laughs> but but, but uh, the, uh, the prime minister is the prime minister. And, up, and in the strong government what people feel. So for a sm small state, it is very difficult to survive against the wishes of the such, such a mighty force, mighty force. Even I am surviving, it is God willing. So, so I say that I am a poor man, I am a, I am a small ch uh, man of a small ch uh, state, but uh, uh, why, why they are after me? I can't understand. I, I can't understand. I'm not a challenge to them. I'm just serving my people, doing what was required from me, what was expected from me. So you basically are I, I don't think what I'm doing, I'm not, I've not committed any sin. Whatever I have done, that is, that is for the best of the, my people. So basically you're banking on the sympathy vote, but what is very different this year, sir, is that both sides, whether it is BJP or Congress, we've seen a huge number of rebels. Uh, on the BJP side, you have so many Congress leaders crossing over. Then in the Congress side, you have seen so many BJP leaders crossing over. So what kind of a contest are we really going to see? Is it a genuine contest? Because people Actually, have already started saying that it's a fight between Congress and Congress. By 2000, well, we are of the opinion, I was of, of the opinion that uh, our politics is going, uh, it is stabilized now. And I was used to say that we are a matured state. But what has happened in recent Love past, you. it is not good. It is not good for a state like Uttarakhand. And it's uh, this, uh, both the side has rebels. It is a manifestation of the misdoings which were committed by the ruling party in the center. They engineered defection in my party. And it is clear because all, all of them have joined the BJP. So it means without, without the consent, without, without the concurrence or without the initiative uh, by the BJP, this defection has not taken place. But sir, do so, you, do you so also because, believe? Because it is a small state, we are, our, the size of the assembly is small. Once the uh, instability circle right. starts, so it, it, it is going to be a very hard time for Uttarakhand. And there, we have, I have, anyway, I have, I have survived the, uh, uh, this, uh, I have survived the, uh, the storm unleashed by the ruling party at center on my government. But, but every time <coughs> other chief minister will be so lucky as I was, I was, it is not going to happen. 
But sir, you, you, you spoke about the engineer defections, uh, the way BJP has been uh, engineering the defections. Do you believe that because of these engineer defections, this 2017 elections is, is not about issues, it, it's about personalities? Do you also believe so? It will be a mix of that. Okay. In fact, for me, it, it, I'm asking the people that vote for the issues. Issue is, of course, the continuity of the development which was initiated by my government, which I say that is for the first time in this uh, in Uttarakhand that one there is a government who is working on the basic principle of Uttarakhand yet, and we are uh, doing whatever were expected by the people when they were asked, uh, when they were fighting for creation of a separate state. So the agenda was set at the time and nobody has uh, taken care of that. My government has taken care of that. In fact, I have initiated more than 1,200 new initiatives which shows that, uh, um, which shows that uh, how deeply we have uh, imbibed ourselves with the concept of Uttarakhandia. Right. But, uh, and thirdly, now people feel that whatever has happened in the Uttarakhand, it has hurt their pride. Okay. Now, So the, you're trying to evoke that popular the, uh, sentiment, now, the spirit now, of Uttarakhand. Now, it's not uh, whether I am popular or not. This is not the issue. Issue is people feel that uh, it was against their interest and it should not have happened in our state. So that uh, now people's pride is also involved right. in, in this election. They feel that why you should something do there is no doubt that Mr. Harish Rawat is working towards uh, these intentions of the spirit of Uttarakhand. But why is there a perception that within the Congress camp, there is a lot of factionalism because of which you are not able to execute the agenda. All is not well between you and uh, your uh, state chief, uh, Mr. Upadhyay. Uh, why, why is that impression going out? We are a democratic party. And uh, you know that uh, in the Congress earlier also, there used to be uh, small uh, groups within the party and all having a, uh, all having a, different a complete devotion towards the top leadership, which keeps the party f different faction united. And, and in Uttarakhand also, there are there are uh, s some small differences, but anyway, uh, we, we, are, we are able to manage these differences whenever there is a challenge before the party, we stood together, we stood together. Uh, another thing which BJP in its uh, rallies has been talking about is that they have been highlighting the corruption part of it. And uh, they initially showed your video, the sting video, which had uh, figured it. And then election commission debarred them from showing it. Now they are talking about it in the rallies. Do you think that does it impact your image in some way and it, it affects the minds of the voters? In fact, my life is very open to the people. And everybody knows and what has happened how the defection was engineered by the BGP. And the defection is from Congress to the BGP. When defection is from Congress to the BGP, how can I be accused of having, uh, doing something uh, which is called the Dalvadal Karware? And this thing, so-called thing, In that thing, neither I am asking that I am interested to buy back or something, some bidayak or something. That gentleman is suggesting, himself is suggesting, 
then he is putting some cost for that. I am just telling that no, 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 I have no money. यदि मेरे पास पैसा होता है एक आध लाख एक आध करोड़ रुपया भी होता है या कुछ कहा है मैंने कुछ राशि होता तो शायद ये मेरे को छोड़ करके भागते ही नहीं हैव ए इंक्वायरी एज वेदर द चीफ मिनिस्टर इज कल्पेबल और नॉट बट एट द सेम टाइम हैचिंग ए कॉन्स्पिरेसी टू टॉपल डाइम स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इलेक्टेड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो वायलेटिव ऑफ द क्रिमिनल लॉ तो तो द इंक्वायरी शुड बी इनिशिएटेड अगेंस्ट बीजेपी ऑल्सो राइट वेदर इट इज इफेक्ट और नॉट फिर सी देयर इज ऑल्सो वन पोर्शन विच सोज दैट दैट जेंटलमैन इज मैंशनिंग देयर वॉज ए शेटर सिटिंग इन दी Chief Minister House for two years, and he is the man for all the shanky funky deals. Who was doing? He is mentioning the name of a Chief Minister's son, and that ex-Chief Minister is now BJP is faced. So either if whatever that gentleman or BJP is saying about me, if that is true, shall we mean it? So what about that part of the statement which he says? So whether the son of the Vijay Vijay Bhaguna was a shatter or a dalal? But uh, you you are making, making a fair thirdly, point. Thirdly, thirdly, this army ko wo bata raha hai ki isko main bechunga. Uske liye kara hai ye papi. Bina paise ke koi kam nahi karta. Bina paise ke rahi nahi sakta, jinda nahi reh sakta. Mujhko jinda nahi chhodega. Everything is saying. क्या बीजेपी ये बताए वेदर दैट जेंटलमैन हुज नेम इज नाउ हरक सिंह एंड इज ए कैंडिडेट ऑफ द बीजेपी वो वही है ऐसा ही है जैसा उसने सिंह में कहा है तो देयर इज मच मोर देन व्हाट बीजेपी इज बीजेपी इज प्रोपोगेटिंग विथ द सिंग शोज इज शोज बीजेपी इन द बैट लाइट टेकिंग यू अवे फ्रॉम these allegations uh, this is for the first time that we are seeing a chief minister who's going to contest from two seats kitcha and uh, haridwar rural uh, what really made you do so because analysts the way analysts are reading it could be some some indication of of your probably surrendering to the fact that probably it's you are on a weak footing you will not win so that's how they are reading it in fact uh, the haridwar and Um, Udham Singh Nagar. These are the two districts from where I am contesting. They constitute twenty seats out of seventy in our state assembly. And out of these twenty, Congress has only two MLAs from there. So the big challenge was to have a better share. Okay. Eh? Uh, or better uh, number in uh, Udham Singh Nagar and Hardwar, so I decided to take on the fight. Okay. On. Uh, so to increase the vote share of Congress in that area, you decided to contest from two seats, and uh, it should not I be read decided, as a sign of weakness. I, I decided to take on the fight. Okay. Uh, straight way. Okay. Uh, to the to the opposition camp, and. and it has the impact i am quite hopeful that we are going to be a good number of seats from udham singh nagar and hardwar a seat and, like haridwar uh, we, we are uh, well ahead of them in uh, 16 seats but sir a, a, a seat like haridwar is also witnessing a triangular contest with the uh, with uh, the prospects of bsp uh, do you think that they are going to dent the votes uh, to some extent yeah, they, they, they will but uh, Because Mayawati is also saying that she is very hopeful of increasing I, I the vote share. I will, I will win hands down from there. Okay, okay. Now taking you to the core issues of uh, Uttarakhand, like you were saying that you are, you have evoked that spirit of Uttarakhandiyat. You are talking about the spirit of Uttarakhand, the same spirit with which the state was carved out. But when we talk about a hill state, the most rampant problem 
has been that of migration. And in the manifesto which was released by your party, you said that you will ensure that there is a reverse migration by 2022. I was speaking to a number of analysts who said that it looks like a very, very difficult task if you are aiming for 2022 for a reverse migration. Yeah, in fact, uh, it is a very awful task, very difficult. The migration from villages to the cities was happening for the last so many years. And after the formation of state, and nobody tried to tackle that issue or to, to see that uh, at least uh, people have not to leave their villages due to the lack of basic amenities, etc. Et 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 uh, there are no opportunities in the hilly areas and in the villages uh, for livelihood also. But so when so you say 20, for the last two years, right. in my in uh, last two years <coughs> of my government, I uh, initiated uh, many schemes and which were well received by the people. I am persuading them by okay. by policy decision <laughs> to go to get back to their fields, to kheti kare wo. So, I have incentive diye, inke consumption badai, jisse demand bade, aur unka acha mooli mile. Usi tarikhe se maine local fiber hai, local wahi ke wood se tyadi hai. Unko proshayit karne ke liye maine kuch initiative liye, taaki local craft ko badhawa mil sake. Waha our area is a skill in that skill, but the handicraft has died from there. It has never been promoted. So, I have started to promote it. Then, in the way, there are many schemes in the area. Right. So, what is the difference between the culture, the scenic beauty, the adventure opportunities, and integrate it? So, from that, our tourism has been on the track again. So, we have to integrate our cultural tourism and religious tourism and integrate our integrated approach. So, we have to take a lot of initiatives on this. And we have to take a lot of educational facilities so that excellence and improvement will focus on it. We have also focused on that. We have also focused on that in the medical. We have also focused on the connectivity of the streets. तो उन सब चीजों से जो migration का ratio था that has declined that has declined it has it has prompted me if I take some more concrete step in next two years तो I will be able to control the distance migration from villages to the cities and if I succeed creating some uh, job opportunities in that, these areas, so a reverse migration will start. Okay. okay. So one last question uh, before I wind up the show. Uh, the issue of uh, Gersen as a capital uh, city, you have uh, said in the manifesto that it will be made uh, into the summer capital. But No, summer capital word used by BJP. What I have said that, uh, um, उसको बिल्ड कर रहे हैं जब बन जाएगा विल टेक द ओपिनियन ऑफ द पीपल वेदर देयर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी हैविंग वन कैपिटल पीपल मे से द ओके फाइन नाउ इट इज रेडी गवर्नमेंट कैन फंक्शन फ्रॉम देयर और पीपल मे पीपल 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 मे से दैट देयर कैन बी टू कैपिटल्स आल्सो वन एट देयर अदून अदर एट that's right. It is in Jammu, Kashmir, it is in Himachal Pradesh, it can be in Uttarakhand also. But what was the hitch on the part of the Congress party not to announce Gersen as the official capital? In fact, when I started building Gersen as a 
as a prospective capital only if 20 people from outside goes there so there will, there will be a problem where, where to live okay there was no facilities nothing now we have put up many guest houses there divisional offices were opened there now vidhan sabha bhavan is ready mla hostel is ready secretary is under, under construction and there were other problems also to tackle these problems i have uh, uh, there is a now uh, garrison vikas parishad right. who takes care of small works what used what has to be taken care then hum sadke wahan ke liye theek kar rahe hain so once these all things come to a uh, some a point then, then people uh, i can go to the people so and ask this, them what is their opinion so all this infrastructure apparently or ultimately will reduce uh, the hill and the plain uh, divide i'm sure uh, it's going to be 3 am mr rawat i wish loads of energy to you uh, and you should catch some sleep I'm now i'm also feeling very tired <laughs> i must i wish must you loads admit, of energy and wish you all the best sir uh, yeah thank thank you very much So that's it on this episode of To the Point. See you next time with another personality. Goodbye and thanks for watching.